Okay, I'm going to pass the controls back to you. Yep. Stop, 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 stop. Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are here at the Uxbridge Driving Test Centre. Um, I'm here to conduct a mock test with Michael. Hello everyone. Now, um, I'd like to emphasise that Michael has um, found us on YouTube purely to be assessed on his driving. Now, um, I'm not Michael's driving instructor. Michael has his own driving instructor. So we will be helping him today through a mock test assessment. Now, for you guys that are watching this video, if Michael makes, um, if Michael carries out anything good in his driving, I'll be popping this up on top of the screen in green. Uh, if Michael makes any minor mistakes, let's say things that I can advise him on and he can improve on, this will come on top of the screen in amber. And if any serious mistakes are made, um, these are any dangerous faults or any faults that you may get into a little bit of trouble with if you're driving by yourself. I'll be popping this on top of the screen in red. Um, just before we do continue, Michael, would you like me to tell you a little bit about the test? Yes, please. Great stuff. Okay. So, the test will last roughly 30 to 40 minutes, and this will include 20 minutes of independent driving um, via sat-nav throughout various road conditions and traffic Okay. Um, I will ask you to carry out one manoeuvre, and I may ask you to carry out an emergency stop. Okay? Great stuff. Do you have any questions in regards before we start? Totally understand. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my mask on, just while you fully adjust yourself. Oh, if you give me one second, Michael. Just put my seatbelt on. Okay, so Michael, what we're going to do is we're going to start the independent drive from here. Okay, now guys, um, we haven't parked in the test center itself just because of the COVID-19 situation. Um, they're a little bit strict on who, how many people come in and out. So as you drive on, on the side, it should stop speaking hopefully. <laughs> okay, just continue following the sat nav until um, traffic signs or road markings. You will arrive at your destination okay. at 10.33 So when I get ready, Michael? Okay. Yep, drive on. You're going back to work after this test? Yes. Okay, Michael, I'd like you to pull up and park up on the left hand side somewhere conveniently safe, please. Anywhere along this road. Okay, thank you. Drive on whenever you're ready.
across the roundabout. Second exit. I'm going to pass the controls back to you. Yep. Okay, Demo, continuing then. Ferrari that. <laughs> really nice. I've never seen a metallic one like that before. Oh. Yeah, I've normally just seen them. Either they're just solid red or yellow. But that one was really nice. 
do you have any preference of any cars that you want to get once you've passed? Um, basically, I don't like the cars. I mean, I'm just an impression <laughs> of that or something like that. You One just, of the cars which yeah. I like is uh, BMW X6. Oh, really? Like that. Oh, that sounds but, lovely. But for you, you just want any car just to drive, get that independence. Right. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Okay, Michael, that will be the end of the sat nav driving now. Right. So I'm just going to reach over and stop this. I'd like you to now follow my directions to follow signs. Um, for now, I'd like you to continue to go straight on unless road markings or traffic signs in the Okay, so straight on at the roundabout. Straight on, following signs towards Uxbridge, please. B four seventeen. Sorry, do apologise. Just after the bend on the left hand side. Okay. Drive on whenever you're ready. And what I would like you to do is at the traffic lights, we'll turn around. Okay. okay. Taking the second road on the left, please. Alright. Just where the white vehicle is going to go from. Okay, and I'd like you to pull. 
pull up and park up on this road, somewhere conveniently safe on the left hand side. If you can pull up just before this vehicle. Okay, don't get too close, that should do fine. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to use the vehicle in front to carry out your maneuver, carry out the parallel park. I think this road is great because it's nice and wide. Um, so what I would like you to do is I would like you to pull up alongside of the parked vehicle. I will then like you to reverse back using no more than two pounds of distance and keep reasonably close to the curb. When you have finished your manoeuvre, I'd like you to secure your vehicle. Okay. Okay, so whenever you're ready. Okay. okay. Back to length of the car? Um, it's not necessary, just enough so we can see the tyres and the tarmac of the vehicle in front. Yeah? Okay. Okay, just give me a second. That's some really good parking, good. that. <laughs> okay. okay, drive on whenever you're ready, please. So the road just slightly bends to the left and then we will be taking the next road on the left. Okay. It's just after the bend. coming up on the left please Michael. I know it's a bit unexpected. <laughs> okay Michael at the end of the road I'd like you to turn left again please. of this road, I'd like you to turn right please. Okay, 
Michael, I'd like you to just pull up and park up on the left-hand side, please. Don't go too far, this will do fine. Okay, so. Okay, drive on whenever you're ready. Okay. We'll be taking the second road on the left. Um, it's quite restricted. It's just where you'll see those signs for the calf. So not this one. It's called Villiers Street. Can you see where those signs are? Cheers, well done. Okay, this road right here. to Elthorne Road, please. And then I'd like you to turn left at the end of the road, please, Michael. road I'd like you to turn right please. And then we'll be turning left at the next set of traffic lights, please. That's a good position, thanks. Crazy DPT driver. <laughs> Probably forgotten where to go. Okay, Michael, we will be turning left at the traffic lights and um, we'll just go down to where we started the test. Yeah.
central. That's it, nicely done with the speed. Straighten up around that same place where that is. Oh wow, it's very busy here all of a sudden. So just go all the way down for me, Michael. And what I would like you to do is just go all the way down. And yeah, just, look. you know what, just pull up and park up here. That's a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. Get that nice shade, eh? That should do fine, handbrake neutral. Okay, and um, leave the engine running. That's fine. Um, great stuff. How do you think you're done? Um, maybe I didn't pause with this one, I feel, because of the... And the woman on the, the zebra trip, crossing, zebra yes, crossing. yes. I mean, there was a lot of good in the driving too. It was really good. I'll just go through um, a couple of faults. What I'm going to do, Mike, I'm just going to take off my mask, just so it's easier for you guys to hear what I'm saying. Okay, right. So, um, yes, the zebra crossing. So I had to give you one serious fault there. Um, so it's always best as you're driving down, make sure you're looking, you're, you don't want to just have a tunnel vision and looking further down, you want to look far, near and to the sides as well, yeah, so it was missed and that's why I had to use my dual controls. Um, then I gave you a series on speed, okay? okay? So um, twice actually I gave you a series on speed when we were on Wood Lane, it was 30 miles per hour and we were doing about 36, 37. Um, we were also coming off from just after the roundabout, um, you were doing 40 miles per hour and it was still 30 and that's why I had to ask you just to slow down just a little bit. So um, two speed fault series is there and a couple of minor mistakes. Um, the left mirror. I mean, you did check it once or twice, but we're missing it out far too many times. So, um, for instance, when you're turning, um, you know, say the next road on the left, you're checking the centre mirror. It's great. You're always checking that centre mirror. We're missing out that left mirror. That right mirror, for some reason, you're always checking that right mirror, which is great. But make sure we check that left mirror, because um, who can be there on our left-hand side? Cyclists. Brilliant. So we've got cyclists. So it gives you a chance to... Um, kind of make a decision on what you're going to do you know you notice that cyclist is there and then you act upon that and then you can decide to give a later indicator or something um okay so that was that the mini roundabout the two double mini roundabouts i had to kind of guide you to just go around okay. i know the paint work is kind of gone which is a bit unfair on you but it's still in roundabout you still just make a little bit of effort. this dpd vehicle here right. it's not your fault he made a you know sudden movement just to turn but um what do you think you could have done how do you think um say you know when you're driving let's say um on your own how do you think you can make your driving a little bit more safer what could you check is the car stopping i should be aware of that so you should be aware of something behind you. you should be more aware of that's this. it that's why i wanted you to say yeah. so whenever anything on the road happens where someone i don't know turns out spontaneously or you have any kind of hazard to be honest any hazard you want to glance in your center mirror yeah, yeah. and what are we looking for in that center mirror uh, for the car for for other uh, yes so we want to check basically how close are they to us right. so can we afford to press on our brakes like a little bit more um firmer than we usually do or are the people behind us a little a bit behind us sorry a little bit more closer so maybe we have to delay that braking so yeah. checking the mirrors is um very important i did catch you once or twice um slowing down and not checking that center mirror as well yeah. so the idea is whenever your foot goes 
onto that brake, Michael, from now on. We check that centre mirror first and then we slow right down. Right. And it goes the same for increasing speed as well. Um, I mean, how do you think it would help you to check your mirrors before you increase speed? Let's say going from a 30 mile per hour to a 40. Could you repeat the question? How sorry, you... sorry. <laughs> okay. So, yes. when we increase speed, let's say right. we're driving down a 30 mile per hour road and right. the speed sign ahead of us has changed to 40 miles per hour. Right. Just before you accelerate and increase speed, how do you think checking the mirrors will benefit you and other drivers? Mm, at least, for example, the uh, someone may overtake me. Precisely. Or, yes. Yeah, yes. But... So, if you're just about to go into increased speed and you see someone overtaking, just come off the accelerator, let them overtake you, and then increase speed. Yeah? Right. So, um, there's a lot of mirror work that needs to be um, improved there. Um, but I mean, apart from that, the rest of your driving was great. Really impressed with that um, with the parallel park. Um, yeah, so do you have any other questions in regards to anything else? No. Yeah, okay, your show me question was good as well. It was, um, you had good control there. You were looking down and up, which was fantastic. I didn't have you just staring down at it and your class were, so I have that yeah. a lot with people sometimes. <laughs> so that was good. Okay. okay. So that was great. I mean, um, if you're um, entirely happy, then maybe you could see me again for another mock test. Yeah. If that's what you guys want, um, let us know in the comments if you want Michael to pass next time. Um, do right side. And he gave you a minor mistake on that one. Um, your parallel park was fantastic. Your coordination controls are great throughout the whole drive. Um, your observational skills were spot on checking your blind spots all around observations we're happy with that and your accuracy fantastic had no problem in that at all and um sit down below and we can do another mock test um how does that sound with you yeah great yeah i'm very happy and i want okay. you to give a present oh, a small that? present a chocolate oh pollen. michael that this is, is so you. sweet of you right how lucky am i guys <laughs> Thank you, that's really nice. Okay, that will be the end of today's video. Um, do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it, if it's benefited you, um, as this helps us to make more videos. And if you're a first time watcher, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Take yeah. care, bye. Yeah.